Hi guys, well this is Tuesday at 2, take 2 at 3. <laughs> so sorry. I honestly, I'm back to my Android because I cannot figure out that iPhone. Um, but I'm not going to go into that right now because it doesn't do any good <laughs> to dwell on it. So what I wanted to share with you was a card um, inspired by a card that I, my sister-in-law actually sent me for my birthday. And as this one, it's called the pull tab card. And choose the beautiful um, poppy petals. <laughs> my mind has just gone blank now. It's like mush. Anyway, peaceful poppies. Um, and then there's this is another. That's this is a, from a different um, die or stamp set. So I just love it. I, I love how it pops open, and then you also have um, an inside too. So I wanted to do this um, card for some members of my church that have kind of kept it going through the pandemic and doing Facebook Lives. So I understand there's frustration now when things didn't go well on Sunday mornings. But I'm making this card and everything's going to be backwards and upside down. So I apologize. I'll try to be as right side up as I can. But I can't do anything about the backwards stuff. So um, anyway, this is the card I made. And it's got the Beautiful World stamp set. And there's the flip. And then the inside. It says, thank you for being part of mine. This says, um, you mean the world to me. Oh, you know, I'm sorry, you make the world a better place. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And hopefully we won't have any hiccups this time. I'm trying to use the iPhone to watch my video but evidently it doesn't like to stay on <laughs> just crazy <laughs> i don't get it anyway um there i am sideways on there so i'm gonna turn this down i need to mute it anyway um there turn that down so i'm gonna turn my phone down to my desktop if I can loosen it up mm. and it's that I got it in the stand crooked so it's not going where I want it to go Lord have mercy please have mercy <laughs> there Oh, let's see. Is it more on my desktop now? Just showing my big old belly. There. Hey, it's good. Calling it good. So, oh, what a workout. So if you have any comments, um, make sure you comment. <laughs> Please be positive. <laughs> I don't think I can take any more negative today. So there's a few movie parts to this card. We have the card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and we're gonna score that at four and a quarter. And then we have, um, it's, no, we're right, we're good. Then this is the front background layer, which will be this. And this is four by five and a quarter. And then we have um, this beautiful foil. This is retiring um, from the beautiful World Suite or World of Good Suite. I'll get the name right. It'll all be on my blog anyway. Um, and so it's got this great coppery sheen to it or accents in it. It's a map. And that is three and a quarter by five. Then for the inside of the card here, and I have my ink laying there, and it's getting on everything. Um, this is three and three quarters by five. Then for the pull mechanism, this is two by six, two by six, and it's scored at two and two and a quarter. Then what I'm calling the, let's see, the outside, the top flip panel 
which is this one here. This is two and three fourths by five. And the one that lays on top of that is two and a half by four and a quarter. And the inside ones are two and three fourths, two and a fourth by three and three fourths. And this one's just a little bit longer. Um, I've got the dimensions wrong in this, I think. This one's actually, three and three fourths by two and a fourth and this should be I'll have the dimensions great I think I just took a piece of scrap and just cut it two and a quarter inches wide and um and then called it good because I was trying to do this really quick to get back on here and do this card for you so as I mentioned we are using the we're using all retired products um and these are some of my favorite ones from the catalog so it's the Beautiful world stamp set with the globes and the sentiments and the feather and the inkwell and the compass. Great for masculine cards. And then the beautiful, the world map dies and it's got, I'll show you this way. It's got the two map, two globes and it's got two different kinds of globe stands and the inkwell and this flourish and a feather and then it's got some script that's embossing and this kind of hash marks that are embossing also. And I'm using the also retiring stitched nested um, labels, and I love these. And I'll continue to use them. I probably won't do them online, but I'll use them for my personal use because I really like those. So from that set, we are using the second, the third, and the fourth. If the largest would be one, then we're using two, three, and four. If that makes sense. So what we're going to do first is actually stamp the outside panel. This is the one that's two and a half by four and a quarter. And I found the best way to do that, get my card out of here, is to use my Stamparatus. So I love the Stamparatus. I think it's my favorite tool besides my cutting board. <laughs> I have a cutting board and my paper trimmer. Getting my kitchen terms mixed up with my stamp terms. So I'm using um, cinnamon cider. And I've got the globe with North America on it. Because that's where we live. I'll slide this over a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to place this on here. And I found it easiest. Even if I was going to do one card with this. I tried to freehand stamp it. And I couldn't get the base to line up with the globe as well. So, I went to, and I know that this is a little bit too wide, but I'm going with it. Better too wide than not wide enough. And I like my image a little bit better, so I'm going to re-ink it. And that's one reason I like the Stamparatus, because you get a second chance. There, that's much better. I'll close that up for now. And then I used... Um, soft suede for the base globe sand there that's good and like I said when I tried to do it freehand it did not did not work well I don't know if I still have it laying around here but and I'm gonna clean this off with my chamois now if you don't have these I love my chamois and it, you can see it's well used it used to be nice pretty purple but it's not anymore but it still cleans really well so dab that up there take this out of here and maybe remember to keep the magnets far apart pull this one out so it can lay down so i have that and now i'm going to bring in my we're calling this the little boss because stamping up, cutting the boss machine is a little bit too <laughs> too much of a mouthful. So I am taking the middle one and we're going to use that one twice. We're going to cut the globe out with it. And 
Lay this here. Put that there and kind of center it. It just really fills it up. Now, um, if you don't have these dies and you just want to, the Stitch So Sweetly, I think they're called, dies work really well for this. And I believe Lisa used that on the card she made for me. They work really well. Or if you just want to cut the cards to the, the layers to the dimensions that I have listed, that will work well too. So we have that one die cut. Now I'm going to use the same die for the doo -doo -doo inside, what I'm calling the inside of the flap. So I'm at, oh, I cut this one a little bit too small. So let me get some paper out here. And two and a quarter. We're going to go. We're going to just wing it here. And hopefully it fits. There. We winged it. We just eyeballed it. And I like to go from left to right because I'm left-handed. Even though I crank with my right. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. But if, if you don't have a magnetic plate, and I don't in this case, I like to just lay it down and then tip it in. And then crank it through. Ooh, there we go. So, ah, oh, there, got that. I wasn't going to let technology get the best of me today. Let's see. And this is the inside flip panel. So we're using the smallest of the three for that. And we're going to die cut that. Started. Crank, crank, crank. It's good exercise. That one. And then we are going to cut the outside one, what I call the top flip panel. And this is two and three fourths by five, so. Sorry, I'm working on a, a folding table. It's a very small space, and it is pretty full. So we have that, and now we can. Nope, I'm gonna cut one more. No, I don't have to. I was gonna cut my flourish, but I've already cut one in advance. So um, get this out of here. Now to put it together, let's start putting it together. So. If you've not die cut a lot, there is always a right and a wrong side to them. So the wrong side will, the perforation will be real kind of rough and the top side, it'll be smooth. So if that matters to you, that's how you can tell. So I'm gonna put some glue on here and And I'm running out. No more, probably. And center that. So, if there's anyone out there, please say hi. I really need the support today. <laughs> then on this one, we are going to stamp. Um, you make the world a better place. You can't read this anyway, it's backwards. I have another one that's forward, so there, that looks better. We're gonna stamp this on here. I've got a little smudge, but I'm gonna try to cover that with my little flourish here. Kind of. And we're going to glue that on there. 
I need to get my hands clean here. My chamois works great for that. I've got ink on here. And I'm just going to clean these off too real quick. I'm using this one again, but keep it clean for now. And I just inked it up and set it aside, didn't I? <laughs> my brain is mush today. There. And I want to do a flourish underneath that. And we're going to glue this to that one. <laughs> I did stamp it, but it was off center, wasn't it? Oh. When you're a senior citizen and, and blonde, they're mostly gray now. Those are my excuses. So, put those two aside here. Now, let's see. We're going to take our... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's use... We're going to work on the pull mechanism. And this is two by six. And we're going to score it at two and two and a quarter. I'm going to bring out my super scored. As long as we have it out, we're going to score this one too. This is our card base, so this will get more scored at four and a quarter. I like the simply scored because it makes a little bit deeper um, score mark than the one on the paper trimmer. So we're going to set that aside for now. Now we're going to bring in. Um, Another one of my favorite things, it's also retiring, and this is the Scallop Tag Topper Punch. Punch that off. And now this, and then we're going to bring in another retiring punch. And when you're doing your, um, when you're cutting this piece here, you want to make sure that um, if you have directional paper, that the top is at the three and a, three quarter inch pieces. So we're going to bring this in here as far as it'll go. Like I said, this is retiring. This is the classic label punch. And I'll have all the stuff listed on my blog for you. And we're centering it from side to side. And got that. And we're gonna slip this into here. And we are gonna put some tear and tape on this part of the mechanism. And before I do that, I wanna burnish this score mark here. I want to slide this in here so I know where it goes. You might need a little bit bigger envelope for this card just because of this sticks out a little bit. So just keep that in mind. And put some tear and tape. Now when you make one of these interactive cards, make sure you always use a strong adhesive like tear and tape or stamp and seal plus or um multi-purpose glue because things will get pulled on and you don't want them coming apart in the hand of your recipient so and I like to use my little retired because he's not always retired things because I'm retired right um no I like to use my paper piercing tool for lifting this up so we're going to take the smaller of these two and we're going to line it right up with this, this score mark here, if you can see that. This will be the two inch one. Going to line it right up along the edge. And then I'm going to use some glue actually on this because I think the tear and tape is just a little too wide. 
So I'm putting some glue along the side there. And this is what makes her mechanism go. These two pieces here. So now I like to flip it open when I've got it in here. And we're just going to put some glue like right along the, um, maybe on the left side as you open it. Actually, just tear and tape. With the two strips right along the edge. up and we're gonna close this up kind of make sure it's centered from side to side and top to bottom as much as you can like that so got that part done and now we are going to take this is the front background layer this is four by five and a quarter and I lost my dimensionals here. There they are. I'm gonna flip this over and put down five. You don't want any um this part at all because that's your mechanism and you don't want it stuck down so I guess we're going to do six. <laughs> it's tucked in my finger. Here. Get this done. Oh. You can center this on here. Looks like that. Get these out of the way. And then we're going to take our card base and burnish the score mark. And we're going to attach this. And I'm going to use some tear and tape on this because this is going to get pulled on. See, there's your little flap. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. I must be kind of a kid. Anyway, I'm going to put some along the sides. Because those are the sides I think better get the most tension on them. And Up. I got a little bit on the edge there, so I'm just going to fold it back. And we're going to center this on here. So that looks like that. Now I'm going to take the inside panel and my Cinnamon cider again. I got it on my fingers again. There. And I have my stamp. Thank you for being part of mine. And when I put my little labels on, I did them crooked, so I've got it square on the block. So it kind of looks like I'm stamping it crooked. But to be a few tries to get it right. That's the beauty of stamping before you affix it. So. There, that goes like that. And we're just going to use some glue because it's nice and fast. Now, I think if we get this in here right, what do you think? There. There we go. 
There's our card. Oh, we're not quite done, are we? I need my ribbon. Let's see. Oh. I had it here. Here it is. We're going to use about five and a half inches. So I'm just need my little ruler out here. About five and a half. And I also tied some um, linen thread, but I put that away. And I'll get it when I finish up this card. So tie that there. Let me grab it quick. I should never say quick. At my age, I'm not quick anymore. So, got can find the end on here. I think I found the middle one time, and now it's all unraveling crazy. So, and I, you don't really need to do this. I just thought it made it look a little, gave it a little extra. So that's about four inches, and I'm just tying it around that ribbon. I found if I tied this, if I pulled this down, then it this went down fat farther. So I'm just gonna tie a knot around it. Here, Let's see, part of this off. If you can tie it with a shorter ribbon, go ahead. I can't do it. So um, there's that. And then I let's see. I have some. Of the 2020 to 2022 enamel dots. So I'm using the cinnamon cider ones for that. Three of them. And then I have this flourish that I die cut from a scrap of copper foil. I love the foils. I'll poke that out. And I've already attached some of that adhesive sheet to the back of it before I die cut it. I'm just going to pull that off, pull that backing off, Let's see, did I get it all? Feels like there's still some attached. Yep, didn't feel sticky enough. There, I love that adhesive sheets for, for fine things like this. So there's the card on my take two of Tuesdays at two, so... Anyway, took me about the same amount of time as it did with the last one. Oh. So, thanks for stopping in. It's been a long day, an exhausting day with all these technical difficulties. But now I have a few of these cards to send out to members of my church. Telling them how much I appreciated all their gifts and talents for keeping us together during the pandemic so and like I said all of these are retiring except for the enamel dots and the linen thread and um well the consumables are not retiring let's just say that the stamp sets and the dies and the punches are all retiring so again that's the scallop tag topper it's retiring and you can order through May 3rd and the classic label punch, and I'll have all the um, of all all this will be listed on my blog, and the stitched nested label. I love these, and of course the world map dies. And these are great for masculine cards. I just use them a lot, and then of course you can. Let's see, I don't think, I don't know if it's, it sh should still be bundled too in the catalog because the suite is still there, I believe. So, um, the Beautiful World stamp set, which I think is great. It's got some wonderful sentiments. Life's a beautiful journey. Adventure awaits you. So you can use this for retirement, um, just encouragement, congratulations on new beginnings, so new job. So, um, it's a great card, I think. Actually, I did use it for one of our church members that started a new job out of state. So 
anyway, <laughs> thanks for stopping in. I hope this was a little bit better, even though it's backwards and upside down. So I'll try to get the bugs worked out. And if I can't, we'll just continue to do it things this way. So thanks for your patience and for stopping in. I appreciate it. Um, big up us.